Simone Saltier for Jack Pimoletto. Yeah, Jack! Hello. My name is Jack Pimoletto. Uh, I'm a freshman at Bold Simsbury High School in the Greater Hartford Academy of the Arts. I'm president of uh, my class at Simsbury High School. Um, and uh, I'm going to talk for a few minutes about the benefits of legalization. And I'm going to debunk some myths that have been uh, perpetuated uh, through media and other sources. Congratulations to Cindy and HempCT uh, for hosting this event. Uh, it's, it takes grassroots movements like this uh, to make change, whether it be in Connecticut or the entire United States. Uh, one big step of progress that uh, we've made together is uh, last year a Gallup poll showed that 60% of national adults now support full legalization of marijuana, as opposed to 35% in 2003. Um, so recently, uh, Chris Christie made a statement saying uh, the crazy liberals want to poison our children uh, and they want to poison the people of America by recreationalizing marijuana. Now I think when he said he wants to, uh, he wants to say that he's poisoning our children, he means in a sense of if you recreationalize it'll get into the hands of kids. This is illogical. Uh, a survey uh, on a high school in Colorado was done in 2009. This survey showed, uh, after drug testing 17,000 students, that 25% came back positive for, abusing, uh, for having used marijuana within the past 30 days. The same survey was done two years after legalization in 2015, and they found that 21% of students have come back positive to have used marijuana within the past 30 days. This immediately debunks the theory with a difference of 680 students that with recreational marijuana, there would be a complete uh, change in the amount of students who would be smoking marijuana and it's gone downwards, it's decreased. Uh, another myth is that violent crime will have increased with the recreational marijuana with several myths being perpetuated about uh, different races and different cultures and how uh, pushing for legalization of marijuana would lead to more violent crime. In Colorado, and within the first 11 months of legalization, two point, uh, the violent crime decreased by 2.2%. Um, and the third myth that I'm going to debunk today is uh, that with increase of uh, marijuana sales and recreational marijuana, uh, there would be an increase of traffic fatalities. This is wrong. According to the uh, Department of Transportation in Colorado, Traffic fatalities decreased by 3% within 11 months after legalization. By debunking all these theories, it shows that Connecticut has literally no reason not to recreationalize marijuana. By recreational marijuana, by recreationalizing marijuana, it would both help and further the war on drugs in Connecticut for anybody having more than two and a half ounces of weed on them. It would further uh, push for tax reform on the middle class of Connecticut. Uh, it would help the people of Connecticut in all by showing that we care about the free will of the people here in Connecticut. And it would help uh, the, the state representatives uh, show that they care for their constituents by showing support for bills recreationalizing marijuana. Thank you.